was the people who took it because they started to feel funny, maybe they were around or something that were vaxxed. They started to feel better right away, and the people who got shot, my son, um, who got really sick, he took it, and within 24 hours he was feeling better. So apparently what they have found with these herbs, several of them have been shown to block the spike protein from attaching to the ACE2 receptors and replicating. So what's coming ahead of us, we can only guess, but um, this is a good thing to have made up ahead of time. And it, what we have done is when people come in and they're really sick, we have these jam jars. We fill the jam jar with the stuff and tell them just take it every a tablespoon every two or three hours and they feel better. But if you give them more, the idea is they're so strong, you don't want to take it for more than 10 days. It's not a preventive. It's it's to take when you get sick. So what I'm going to show you is when you get this recipe, this, is, this could easily be a seven page recipe with details of what you're going to run into. But my goal here is to get you started so that when you look at the recipe, you don't just say, well, I can't do that. Yes, you can. <laughs> so what you do, is get a jar like this. This is this is a great jar. And you're going to put in the base, which is your apple cider vinegar, it's your um, vegetable glycerin, it's your honey. I have to warn you, this recipe takes two pounds of fresh juiced organic garlic with a champion juicer, it tastes very garlicky, um, but it's okay. You want to shake it before you take it. So once we get the base in here, all these items, put this in the refrigerator. Now you're going to take one herb at a time on the stove. If you want to do four at a time, that's fine, but separate them. They have to be separate because what you're doing is you're filling the pot with the water that's called for on the recipe after you soak it overnight. You want to simmer it down to four ounces. And that's the purpose of separating it. You want to make sure you have four ounces of each, except the comfrey. Eight ounces of comfrey, or you want twice as much of comfrey. Once you boil, simmer it down to four ounces, and you will end up pouring it out, measuring it out. Some people do not leave the herbs in for more than 30 minutes or an hour, and then they boil off, simmer off what's over four ounces. I keep the herbs in until you have four ounces. Then you can pour, after it cools, pour it in here, put it back in the refrigerator. And now you can take your time making each one. You don't have to do it all in one day like we were trying to. Um, these are the amber bottles we recommend you store them in. And pour it, shake it, pour it from here into here. This is a nice garlic peeler, if you've ever seen these at the farmer's market. Because two pounds of garlic, you might want to just get some help doing that. Um, I guess that's it. We got these at Mountain Rose Herbs, but we also have um, Frontier. We can sell this today, some of these. Um, but we got... Um, we got most of it from Mountain Rose Herbs. We, we're going to post this on the website, right? Yeah. So that's how you get started. Any questions? Once you have it in the amber bottles, do you refrigerate it? Absolutely. Mark it, the date, what it is, um, five years. 
Yes. The first batch I did, I never refrigerated it. It was gone within a year. I mean, it works. People come once it once they find a plant heals them, changes your life. You mean gone? You used it. It's nothing like that. Uh, it it didn't go bad. It was just used. Yes. You know, I don't know that, but one thing I know is these herbs cannot be taken continually. Okay. Um, up to 10 days, that's it. And you won't even need them for 10 days. I can testify that the Amelia um, herb and apple cider vinegar, which I combine with kind of pepper, is a great expectorant that I'll even use this in the water. Very, very, very spectrum. Well, that's good. I, I combined it with cayenne uh, pepper, but, but you have both ingredients in this, so that's, that will create that spectrum. And you know, the skull cap, it should be in everybody's herbal <laughs> formulas because it actually enhances any formula it's in. So, skull cap is. Well, Bailey is very powerful. Any more questions? Where do you get the amber jars? Oh, um, I got mine from the glass bottle outlet, glassbottleoutlet.com. Okay, thank you. And if you have any questions, just go online and email <laughs> us at Country Life. And we'll what's, answer. What's email address? But if you're in the middle of making it, call us. Info at countryliferestaurant.com. Thank you. And I can make sure you get a copy of that. Yeah. But the first time you make it, you might have a lot of questions. Yes, David? So, so the gist of it is it's a preventative when you put the onset of something. Right. So could, 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 does anyone take it as a preventative? You know, they're not sick yet. Well, no. No. Have it with you all the time. That's a good idea. Just take a little bottle with you all the time. I mean, it's not going to go bad because it's not in the refrigerator. It's just that long-term storage. Take a hit before you take one. Yeah, yeah. And they can take one. I heard they turned the bubonic plague. They took pomegranate juice. Have you heard about that? No, but I have heard they took thieves. The thieves, uh, essential oils, they, the, the robbers, the thieves, put it, yeah, they use that as a preventive. Connie, did you want to add anything? Well, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.